Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be going over something that I get asked loads. How do I play this chord progression in a different key? So why might you want to play a chord progression in a different key? Well, firstly, it's important to know how to play in different keys. Being able to do so opens up a whole load of new harmonic possibilities when writing and soloing. Another reason you may want to transpose some music is to accommodate the range of someone's voice. If you're playing the music and someone is singing a song, sometimes the singer may not be able to reach the top note, so you would have to transpose the music down a few keys. So how do we actually transpose chords to a different key? Well, let's use this chord progression as an example, and then we can go through it together. So we have the chords C major, F major, and then G major. So the first thing we need to do is identify what key the original chords are in. And hopefully you can see that this chord progression is in the key of C major, all the white notes. So if we wanted to transpose these chords to the key of F major, the first thing we would have to do is to make sure we knew the scale of that key. So here is an F major scale. It's all white notes and a B flat. The next thing we would want to do is go over the original chords and number them in relation to the scale. So since we're in the key of C major, the first chord, C major, would be chord one. The next chord, F major, would then be chord 4, because F is the fourth note of the C major scale. 1, 2, 3, 4. F major. And then going on to, to G major, that would be chord 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have chord 1, chord 4, and chord 5. This is all the information we really need to transpose the chords. If we move to the key of F major, we now just need to figure out which chords are 1, 4, and 5. Hopefully we know that chord 1 in F major is going to be the chord F major. Chord 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, is going to be a B flat major. And chord 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is going to be a C major. So we have an F major, a B flat major, and a C major. We have transposed our chord progression from C major to the key of F major. I'll do one more quick example so you really understand. Let's use these famous four chords as our example. C major, G major, A minor, and F major. 
sure you all recognise these four chords. So let's transpose this to the key of G major. So first of all, let's make sure we know the scale of G major. Next, let's go over the original chords and figure out what chord number each one is. So for the first chord, C major, as we're in the key of C major, this is going to be chord 1. And then we have G major, which is chord 5. Then we have A minor, which is chord 6. And finally we have F major, which is chord 4. So we have chords 1, 5, 6, and 4. So let's go over to our new key, G major. Let's just play those numbered chords within this scale. So chord 1 would be G major. Chord 5, D major. Chord 6, E minor. And chord 4, C major. So it's really not that difficult, it just takes practice, and you'll definitely get better and faster at it. It also really helps to be familiar with your scales, so I recommend practicing those as always. There are other methods to transpose chords, but this is the most efficient and logical way of doing it. I hope you guys found this lesson useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.